And then there's aging. I don't think I really understood aging until I started doing it more often. I didn't understand aging until my body began to explain it to me. First my eyes spoke up. Mr. Nisker, we've just about seen enough. <laughs> Tired of gazing at beautiful women, beautiful sunsets, and you know, we're taking the receptors and focusing muscles and going into semi-retirement. <laughs> and then my bowels. <laughs> They've been speaking to me my whole life, but they began to sing a different tune. <laughs> All right. Nisker, we're tired of your crap. <laughs> tired of pushing it around down here. A couple shitloads a day. We're going on a work slowdown. <laughs> and then my testicles, my dear testicles. <laughs> hey man, we produced a lot of sperm over the years down here, enough to populate an entire galaxy with your offspring. <laughs> and we know you've wasted a lot of it too. Well, maybe you should seriously practice Tantra or uh, take robes or something because we're running out of juice. And then my bladder. And my bladder tried to explain it nicely to me. Said, you know, Wes, you go over to the sink and you turn on the faucet and the washer's broke in there. You know, so then after that, the water comes out either sideways or in a spray. And then you can't turn it all the way off. down here, so don't expect to get a good night's sleep until your next life. And then my memory spoke up. You have two words for me. Forget it. Fucking forget it. Now, I don't think I'm going to die anytime real soon, but now I know that no matter how well I take care of this body, Gravity is going to win in its attempt to pull me back to Earth from whence I came. Ah, oh, it's not a pretty picture. I read recently that as you age, your hard parts get softer and your soft parts get harder. It's like you kind of collapse 